Hello everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Red vs Blue Death Battle. Um, it's something that I've been quite excited for since they announced it. Uh, just based on the premise. You know, it's the Reds and the Blues fighting in Blood Gulch. You know, apparently they're supposed to have their kind of modern day skill sets with you know, back in the gulch. Um, I think it was supposed to be Sarge Griff Simmons, Donut Lopez versus Church, Tucker, Caboose, Tex, and Sheila. I think. I think that's what it is. Um, I imagine this has got all the kind of like preview bit on it, you know, where they like talk about it. Not that there's anything in there that I don't know, but I didn't watch those little preview videos, so I'm going to watch that all now. Um, and typically what they talk about in those sections is what's going to come into play, you know, so if they talk about, like, I don't know, Simmons being a cyborg, then that might come into play in the fight. Um, I've seen little, like, screenshots of the fight, but I've not actually watched any of it, because they did release, like, a, a minute-long clip, I think. Um, and it's animated by Tori, and I know that much. But yeah, it looked pretty cool. So yeah, I'm not going to talk much about it. It's just something to enjoy, isn't it? Um, oh, and as for voice actors, I don't know what the deal is. Saw some tweets about it. Don't really know. I imagine like Caboose and Tex are probably replaced. Uh, maybe Tucker, Donut, maybe, I don't know. Church. I would think that they would get like Gus, Sarge, you know, Griff. I don't know why I said Gus, Sarge and Griff, but you know what I mean? Like, they, they could get those guys. I figured they would be themselves, but who knows, you know. Uh, so let's just go. Edison versus Tesla. Coke versus Pepsi. Goo Goo versus Superman. <laughs> few rivalries have lasted nearly two decades or spawned epic battles like our second favorite web series, Red versus Blue. With the Red Team. Even though most of them don't actually wear red. And the blue <laughs> team. They're perpetual ocean colored rivals. For this battle, we'll be bringing these two groups back to where it all started. To find out what would have happened if they had stopped dicking around and actually just fought for real. Just a note, we will be locking any artificial intelligence characters within their primary bodies, since they're generally invincible unless they stumble into an EMP. <laughs> you mean an EMP? That's a good shout. What? Yeah. He's his <laughs> nine boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, look at that. Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? Not long from now in a galaxy, theoretically exactly where we are, humanity goes to war with an alien covenant. So the United Nations Space Command came up with a oh, did a full backstory on it. One of those was called Project Freelancer. Essentially an experiment using AI to create invincible super soldiers. In order to fabricate scenarios to train these highly advanced warriors, Freelancer opted for a uh, unique approach. Dumping a bunch of losers in a box canyon and telling them they're at war with each other. Enter the Red Team. Dick Simmons, Dexter Griff, Franklin Delano Donut, Lopez the Heavy, and their leader, Super Colonel Sarge. Yes, that is his full name and rank. <laughs> you know they say prejudice is taught, not born? Well, they well, it's a one eight side book, it says Ambidextrous. Griff was screaming how much he hates blue the second he popped into the world. Attention, blue team! This is the Red Team! We are here to destroy you. Your long reign of being the shittiest designated driver has come to a sudden and cataclysmic end. Once an orbital drop shot trooper, Sarge was unfortunately discharged after developing a fear of heights, only to be picked up by Project Freelancer to achieve his dream. Lead the glorious reds against the dirty blues. Ah, oh, man, he's great. He seems like the kind of guy you could just have a catch with. <laughs> uh, sure. Sarge may be an unorthodox leader, but he knows his men very well. Hey, he's good enough to keep dorks like Griff and Simmons around for 17 seasons, and those two spend a lot of time together. It's a complicated relationship, though you may be surprised at their capabilities. Simmons may be a brilliant geek, like myself, but he proves stereotypes wrong by changing his armored suit in just four seconds. Really? How about this? How did you change so fast? 
I've always been a fast changer. Mjolnir armor is designed to be applied by Spartans <laughs> in a really? few minutes. This would imply Simmons is 90 times faster than the average super soldier. He's also technically a cyborg, but everyone forgets that these days. Meanwhile, Griff is the laziest member of the team who only cares about pizza and Oreos. He's my favorite. <laughs> he's also been hit in the nuts more times than I can count, and he's still standing yeah, today. Yeah, well, including all that equipment. Steel right so. there. Then there's Donut. Easily duped, but always a joy. He's clearly identifiable by his lightish red armor. Where's your eyes going bad? That's pink. Eh, magenta. <laughs> Donut has shown incredible tenacity. He was once shot through the chest, causing his armor to lock up, and was left bleeding out on the ground for over a year, but he got better. And he's got the for best over a year, he was not left on the ground for over a year. Halfway across the canyon. Which is over 1,500 feet long. And last yeah, of all, he's got an arm. Team Robot who hates everyone. Lopez. Hola. Lopez. Hey, that robot looks like Lopez. Hey, Regresado. Uh, no matter how many times they rebuild yeah, him, you can't really kill you Lopez. So his head, head better come setting. off in this battle, oh, well, and he better still fight. The Reds carry a standard Spartan assortment of magnums, battle rifles, and SMGs. But if I had to pick one weapon of the bunch, I'd have to go with Sarge's trusty shotgun. Seriously? The Hopefully, with the Simmons gets his rocket well, launcher. How long have we known each other? Have you never looked at my leg before? <laughs> Besides, an effective range of 45 meters is almost the length of an Olympic swimming pool. Watch your back, Michael Phelps. I know how to beat you now. Of course, we can't forget their hallmark vehicle, the Warthog. And you mean the Puma? AKA Chupa thingy. Rocket launcher, yeah. Okay. Three ton supercar tops out at 78 miles per hour and is heavily armored. Well, it's supposed to be. Somehow the Reds always find new ways to break the thing. <laughs> Maybe that Sarge is a good mechanic. And you know what they say, Wills? Good mechanics make for good fathers. But what I find most baffling is that for some reason, these low-life dimwits have been given the most state-of-the-art space marine armor in the galaxy. Oh yeah, the Mark VI Mjolnir suit. Mjolnir. Gesundheit, <laughs> titanium plating, energy shields, hydrostatic gel, liquid metal crystal. These babies can take one hell of a beating. Apparently strong enough to withstand the blast of a 50 megaton bomb. <laughs> You gotta love it when a bomb goes up that's Don't so know if that's big, true. you cool. think it sent you to the future. Good times. But when push came to shove, the Reds banded together to take down one of the deadliest warriors in the galaxy, the Meta. Despite all logic and reason, the two pillars I hold most dear... Oh, I Lopez better get the missile pod. Oh, you know what, I love it with the missile pod. ...mind-bogglingly impressive team. I'm not ordering you to go. I ain't even asking. You do. What you gotta do, Private Grip? <sighs> now I'll go get my car keys. Ah! All right then! Let's move! The Blues! They're not just a great way to sing out all those complicated, <laughs> messed up feelings you keep down about being fatherless. They're the second half of this epic. But, you know, singing blues would be perfect for this team. They've been through a lot. Maybe true. Unlike the Reds, they've suffered numerous like casualties Black and are constantly plagued by Project Freelancer's experiments. You know how they were experimenting with AI? They could only get one, an alpha based on the project's director. Shit went down and they had to hide the alpha where nobody would ever find it. Apparently, this box canyon in the middle of nowhere seemed the perfect fit. This is Blue Team. Leonard Church, Lavernius Tucker, Agent Texas, Sheila, who is a living tank, and Caboose. After losing their original captain to a, uh, deadly allergy incident, Church reluctantly stepped up to be the blue team's unofficial leader. Spoiler alert, he's the secret alpha AI. I don't know what makes him so special, though. He's a cranky asshole who's terrible at literally everything he does. He doesn't even know he's an AI. He thinks he's a ghost. Oh, Caboose has got freckles, but so he's going to be 50 megaton pretty bomb? mental. Church's team all survived it, too, including himself, while it was Texas has got a mega as well, body. so she's right. going to be <laughs> mental. Tucker wants you to think he's a ladies' man. However, after careful, painstaking analysis, we have determined that he has very little gain, being that his most frequent hookup is a rock. He's <laughs> kind of a badass, though. He stabbed the meta, sure you can Cyclops in the yeah, balls, okay. and held off a small army of mercenaries by himself. He even wields a kick-ass energy sword that only works for him. But for the biggest badass of the bunch... That's gonna, gonna come into that, maybe? So we're gonna try and pick Texas. it up? Tex is an anomaly. 
She's not really a blue, but a freelancer assigned to the team through circumstance. Yet she's also not really a freelancer, but a robot duplicate hosting an artificial intelligence fragment split from the Alpha <laughs> as a clone of the director's late wife, Allison. Yeah, duh, guys. How'd you not see that coming from when the show started? Unfortunately, <laughs> the text fragment is specifically based on the memory of Allison's death. Uh, and she's the fine, uh, of yeah. failure. This means that Tex is literally programmed to fail. Now, this doesn't mean she can't win fights or that her team can't succeed on missions. It's more of a personal defect. It sure hasn't stopped her from kicking some serious ass. Yeah. Tex was number one on the freelancer leaderboard, easily caught this giant crate, and could even flip over Sheila. You know, the 66 oh, She doesn't like sling Sheila across the map or something. For Caboose's <laughs> team killing sprees. You all know Caboose, the funny fan favorite who can get you to quote everything he says. And he's really, 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 really dumb. Hey, speak of the dummy. What else is new? Perfect timing. As this battle will be in Blood Gulch, the usual teleportation units will be in place. The Blues have used these teleporters frequently with varying results. In you go. Certainly. What could go wrong? It'll come up black. Instantaneous, as you can see. You totally killed him, didn't you? Probably. Well, aside from Tucker's kick-ass lightsabers, the Blues carry pretty boring weapons. I mean, they don't really need much when they have a robot ninja on their side. Oh yeah, she's got Church active camo. Have a cool yeah. sniper rifle, but he really sucks with it. Which sort of makes sense. Unlike everyone else, Church never experienced any training or combat before Blood Gulch. You know, that explains a lot. <laughs> Without specialized weapons, Blue Team has a few aces up their sleeve. Did they, did they, did have freckles then or not? Additional AI fragment, Omega. I prefer O'Malley. The fragment of the Alpha's. I mean, that is O'Malley. Yeah, Omega and Allison is O'Malley. Gear, such as a cloaking device. It also affects her personality, quite literally transforming her into a vicious killing yes. machine. It can also pop out of her head and possess other people like a ghost. But remember, we're locked in to to their bodies because that is super overpowered. Yeah. Even though Tex has shown incredible feats of strength, Caboose is surprisingly even stronger. In a robot body identical to the one she used to flip Sheila, Tex was unable to lift Andy the bomb, while Caboose could do so for extended periods of time. And after entering what? an no, that's her, temple, um, Santa, the one that was Sarge Villa. That's not the same one she had before. Tenfold, and Caboose didn't even notice. I remember yeah. a certain Saiyan struggling to do something like that. <laughs> I mean, I guess this means Caboose is better than Goku. Stop it. Don't you dare open well, was that, What was that footnote then? Did that say that she had a weak body it. or Still, her original body? I didn't get it from Rigo. It's like they say, it's God's way of compensating. Unfortunately, yeah. the blue team has a tendency to get in way over their heads, often losing team members in the process. Yeah. But somehow, some way, they <laughs> so, somebody's going to kill together. Church. They're a good team in a weird, stupid way. Sheila, shut him up. Son of a bitch! All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Oh, look at that. Okay, why did we bring the flag out here? Because it's supposed to rain today. You have to remember to take your flag out. Well, not today, for sure. None of that is right. What's a flag got to do with rain? Wait, do you think the flag is an umbrella? Caboose, have you ever seen an umbrella before? That sounds like Tucker, but it also sounds weird. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, suck on that, Blue. Yeah, suck it, Blue. This will stop them. Hey, dumbass. The teleporter never worked. Now, come on, let's... Wait, where's Caboose? Great work for that fake weather report, boys. That's the kind of fake news I like. What fake weather report? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Sheila. The only good red is a red in bed. Grip, quit your staring and get to stepping. On the gas, pronto. Uh, yeah, I know. Sheila, look out for that rock. Oh, no, there's another one. Who oh, got all these rocks out here? <laughs> Yep. No way, those caves are amazing. Move over, numbnut. Hey, don't leave me out here. Oh, he's got a great shot. We're going to use the warthog as a battering ram. Striking their rear engine, which will rupture and cause the tank to self-destruct in a glorious explosion. Excellent plan, sir. Except for, well, all of it. You know me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 
Why is there no Puma music? Jesus, what was that? Where's it? Simmons? Simmons! Uh, here, blah. No! <laughs> Simmons actually dead. It's fucking stupid if he's died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he get out of the back of the tank? How? <laughs> Why was that filmed in Halo 5? For the first time in history, you're exactly right! Today is a good day to die! George! Oh, that's so good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, resist. <laughs> I always feel like Lopez could fight. Yeah. Nice. He can survive that though. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Sarge versus Tex is fucking awesome. Oh, I'm loving Griff's effort. He's just like, Ugh. oh, oh, yeah. how do I help? Just stay there, caboose. I want to help. Help by not helping. God damn it! This rifle is busted. Help has arrived. Oh god. No! <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> this is it. This is what it's all about. Red versus blue. Blood versus water. Which is really Blood versus gold. Wasteless yeah. face blood! Destiny awaits! Today, the Cerulean Devil dies! Well, should've seen that coming. Kick, oh, kicked it. Blood. I won! I am the greatest! Good thing the flag is out. K.O! <laughs> what a battle! Who knew weather was so important? As chaotic as the show we all know. Okay, so the Reds had plenty going for them. They had brains and speed on their side with Simmons, and they had some epic firepower. But the blue team had the grit to overpower them. When it comes to physical strength, nobody on the red team came close to the raw power of Tex and Caboose. Flipping Sheila and lifting Andy made that pretty clear. Yeah. Now Sarge even tried to lift Andy once and he couldn't do it. Poor guy. Even with such charisma, leadership qualities, and big dad energy, you can't win them all. Speaking of which, it could be argued Sarge has more extensive military experience than anyone else. However, Texas freelancer training was so they didn't even give Tex a voice actor. That's what interesting. Issue. Just look at what she did to the Reds before. She's a monster. Not to mention she technically had two lifetimes of training. <laughs> copy of Allison and all. Yeah, her lame programming meant she couldn't win the fight by herself. But her blue teammates picked up the slack. Tucker even got some freelancer training in too, thanks to Agent Washington, and could hold off a platoon of mercs all by himself. No one ever said he wasn't good at solo activities. <laughs> oh, and in the fight between tanks versus cars, tanks generally win. I mean, in the fight versus obvious. ghosts versus Red robots, ghosts always resilient, win. Mostly thanks to aggravating stubbornness, but it wasn't enough to survive. Yeah, seeing seeing Griff fight with the force of brute shot is cool. Uh, if only they could have read that they'd end up with a case of the blues. And that's even without releasing the obviously superior power of artificial intelligence units. 
You know, dummy, you ever wonder why you're here? All the time. The winner is the blue team. Who could have seen that coming? Thanks for checking out that episode of Death Battle. If you like that, that's fight, cool. I want to watch the fight again. Simmons just got fucking right, annihilated right. for no reason. That was really stupid. Where's Caboose? Well, it didn't even. I thought his cyborg thing would come in to play or something. I thought like Lopez being stabbed would have not been the end of him. You know, he survived without head before. Why's Griff got like yellow on him? I didn't realize that. It's a bit weird. Sheila, look out for that rock. Oh no, there's another one. Who put all these rocks out here? <laughs> They're making good use of like the Unreal Engine Machinima though. Play for shots like that. Jesus, what was that? Where's it? Simmons? Simmons. Uh, Herc Bly. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, the Herc Bly is funny, but wait, yeah, he just died for over nothing. That was so stupid. I'm surprised they, surprised they got Donut, to be honest. Yeah, see, why is this in Halo 5? No judging. End of the line, Reds. Dirty Blue, for the first time in history, you're exactly right. Today is a good day to die. Charge! Oh, yeah, look at that shot. These shots are so cool. I'm going to have fun with some A and Bs on these. Yeah, what was that about? Why did he just like hit him? Like... Not today, Roboto. Yeah, seeing Tucker fight like properly is really cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want to say fuck on Mierda. <laughs> it's a shame they didn't give Texas Boy Sector. I feel they could have done. Or at least done like some uh, O'Malley shit. Again. You know, a voice changer. Yeah, this is kind of a cop out to be honest. Yeah, I mean him him killing Church would make sense. But... Red versus blue, blood versus water, which is really just lifeless, tasteless, waste of space blood. Oh, listen to that music. I didn't actually catch that. The Cerulean Devil dies. That contact. Well, should've seen that coming. Blood. Blood. <laughs> Good thing the flag is out. Terrible day for rain. She's a mom, but her blue teammates pick. Wait, was there more after? Wait, did I watch it to the end? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. 
that was really cool. I enjoyed that. I mean, I think some parts of the fight were a bit of a cop out, but you know, it's like it's fun, isn't it? Um, I think Caboose's new voice actor. It's like it's not great. It's not perfect, but it's fine. What are you gonna do? Especially it's only for the presuming it's only for the death battle. You know, we might not even ever see him again. I don't know what the deal is. I won't be fully opposed to it though. Um, oh yeah, I think it was fine. I'm yeah, I'm just yeah. They got Church back. They had Tucker in there. Wait, did Tucker actually say stuff? I think so. You know, they're donut. What more can you want? You know, get to see Tex kicking ass. Church, uh, Sarge being a badass. You know, Tucker and Lopez fighting each other. You know, what more can you ask for? It looked cool. It was fun. It was interesting. Do I agree with the outcome? Sure. You know, I think it was a cop-out that... Like... What was it? Church. Donut and... Uh... Was it just Church and Donut who got killed by the sniper? I suppose Dan Tex. You know, they all got, like, killed on this rig shit. That was a bit bullshit. Like I still, I, I, I'm fine to say that Blue Team won. They had Sheila and Tex, um, but and Tucker, you know, so they were heavily weighted to win. But you know, it's going to come down to that. And you think back to that like deleted scene, or not deleted scene, like the alternate ending thing from season five, where it is essentially the same thing, where just people going ballistic, killing each other. Caboose won that as well. You know, it's always going to be the way. Um, but yeah, it was enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. It's just a little fun one, isn't it? But, um, yeah, Ivan Eprof, I'll see you in the next video.